Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Acrylic Creations. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of an experiment with uh, how I approach my faux pillows. Uh, one of the problems I've had in the past is that I have the white peeking through in areas that I didn't really want it. So let's get down to the canvas and see how this works for us. Okay, PPG Multi Pro. This is my pillow paint, with the white pillow paint that I'm using today. I'm gonna back it up with Sherwin uh, Williams Color to Go in Tricorn Black. And my thinking with this is if I have it along the outside, that it'll be less white, that I have a chance of pulling it up where I don't want it. So I'm gonna get it down nice, even swipe around the whole uh, mess. This is, uh, Kernakonome Nicolazzo Gold. It's a color that's going away, and so I'm using it very sparingly in these days. This is White Haven. This is a TLP color, this little piggy color, and uh, it's a, a pearl white slash gold. Beautiful color. This is uh, Blue Eyes, another this little piggy pigment. Putting across the back of this is going to be my Carbon Black, Carbon Black by Amsterdam, but this is mixed with my cell, uh, excuse me, with my uh, regular pouring medium. And I'm gonna, make a, I'm gonna make a nice even swipe across the top of it. This took several passes. I didn't check my Carbon back Black before I decided to put it across the top, and uh, it was a bit thick. So it's gonna take a couple swipes here. You're gonna notice that it uh, it is semi thick. I mean, it's not a this is not a thin layer that I'm putting on here. It's not as much as I usually do. Okay, I picked up my swiping tool and I put some carbon black by Triart uh, as my cell activator, followed by cobalt teal, also Triart. And I'm gonna do a nice even swipe to get some cells moving around. I'm gonna repeat this process with the same two cell activators with uh, blue eyes added to the top of it. You can see I get a lot better uh, cell activating, uh, cell action going here, much faster. Okay, I picked up my smaller tool and I'm gonna start scooping and dragging. Now scooping and dragging, you're gonna go just underneath the color and pull it out. Uh, I'm looking not to pull out so much white on this, uh, the white uh, pillow paint, as much this time. So, uh, but it does come up, and so it gives it that bat lick lit feel. Uh, and so that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm hoping for. Getting closer and closer. I'm just playing in the paint. Just finding what I can uh, find that looks like something I want to uh, pull further out and get the uh, get the, the flow going that I want. Okay, this is quite a bit faster. Uh, this is four times the speed at least. And the whole point was to get the paint to, uh, to move off the canvas or move off the tile in this case. Uh, and get my my composition where I want it to. I'm gonna get some paint off the spinner. One final spin, and we're about time for the flyover. Now my cells just stayed and it dried exactly this way. So I could be happier with this new tryout uh, paints for a cell activator. They just do exactly what everybody said they do. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I see great possibilities with it. You can see that the, uh, that the uh, 
white did shine through that Kronakron of Nicolaz Oak. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications of future videos. It really does help, and it's absolutely free. Okay, I want to thank you very much for being here today, and I hope you got something out of it. See you next time. Bye now.